In the 1960s, Nobel Prize winning economist Simon Kuznets described society as consisting of consumers, savers and producers. Any society is able to consume, save and produce in a sustainable way if the population structure represents more or less a pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid, there are the youngest people, up to the age of 20 or so. Then above them are the working population who are producing, consuming and saving. And then at the top are the older people, retirees for instance. Now we are observing a global increase in the aging population due to a decline in fertility and mortality rates. The pyramid is being reversed. And our research looks at what implications this has for all of us. We first show empirically that aging population structure leads to a decline in the long-term growth of the economy, investment, hours worked, real interest rates and innovation rate. Using United Nations population data and predictions, our conditional predictions show that unless drastic changes occur in the demographic structure, these long-term downward trends will continue. We provide two theoretical channels to explain the data and our estimates. First, when people expect to live longer, they need to save more for their retirement and consume less. This increases their demand for assets and, in turn, decline in asset returns. Thus, we can explain the decline in the long-term growth and the real interest rates. But this leaves us with a puzzle. If long-term interest rates decrease, long-term investment should increase. And that's not what we observe in our estimates. Long-term investment is actually declining. Our resolution to the puzzle is related to the production process. Remember that we found that the long-term innovation declines as the population is aging. That means the population aging affects ideas production. With fewer younger people in the population, there will be less creativity and ideas. Thus, while the cost of investment finance may be lower due to higher savings of the aging populations, there are simply not enough good ideas worth capitalizing on. And so, long-term investment must be declining. Are there solutions to the aging population problem? Migration may address the shortage of younger people. Or giving more support for young parents could help increase fertility rates. Or increasing funding of research and development would bolster the flagging generation of new ideas and see more innovations and investment opportunities. And finally, new advances in artificial intelligence and robotics could be used to fill gaps in the workforce. Overall, perhaps we need to think more about living more sustainably and plan for a future where we are demanding less from our planet and her resources.